you need speed. You need to respond to people faster than all your competitors are responding. And the best way to do that is to set it up automatically. Hi guys, my name's Samia. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer. And in this video, I'm super excited about it. It's super nerdy. I'm gonna be talking about my number one key to success when it comes to converting potential clients into customers in my photography business. And that is speed. It's responding automatically to increase that come to my website. I can respond to people that fill out this form in my sleep, while I'm eating, while I'm driving, because the system I have in place will automatically respond. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I set that up in this video. Okay, when it comes to responding automatically, I actually learned this in Las Vegas at the Wedding MBA. It's a huge convention every single year that happens for wedding professionals. So I went last year and I remember I was sitting in this room and this guy, I think his name is Alan. I'm not sure, like he's like the sales guy, his name is Alan. Um, he got up there and he said, if you respond within 15 minutes to an inquiry, you are four times more likely to get that booking and also responding does not have to be like not a template it does not have to be that you actually wrote that response it's just that feeling of if the client felt like responded to within 15 minutes you just four times your chances of working with them so when i heard that in las vegas i was like oh my god but how the heck am I supposed to, I'm not gonna monitor my email every 15 minutes, like I feel like I'm gonna go insane. So I needed to come up with a system that responded for me um, automatically, and this, and this is what I came up with. With everything in business, first you come up with the strategy, and then you come up with the technical side to back it up, right? So for the strategy, I'm like a wedding and a portrait photographer, so what am I gonna respond to these people? Is it gonna be the same for wedding or same for portraits? Like I had to figure that out. And so. For portraits, this is what I thought of. So if someone is inquiring about portraits, I have three base packages and it's kind of the same thing every time. I say, hi, yeah, I'd love to do your pictures with you. Here's my brochure. Um, and then I send the, port the brochure every time. So because that's kind of how my business has been running and it's been working, I don't see a problem when someone inquires automatically sending that brochure of pricing for a portrait collection. So that's what I have for a portrait increase. That's what I have set up for portraits. But for weddings, it usually is the case that I actually want to talk to them first before I send them my pricing because I'm at a price point where I feel like I need to build up reasoning as to why I'm charging thousands of dollars and not just throw that at people. Um, and also I only want to take on select clients for my photography business because I can only shoot a certain amount a year. So anyways, I felt like, okay, I want to talk to these people first. So I don't want to just send a brochure of pricing. So what am I going to do? So what I decided was uh, my strategy will be to respond automatically, asking them if they want to schedule a consultation call and sending them a link to schedule this consultation call. Okay, so that is a strategy and thought process. Now I'm gonna show you the technical side for how to actually set that up in HoneyBook. Okay guys, so the first thing you wanna do once you're inside HoneyBook is actually set up those contact forms people are gonna be filling out, which I have another whole other YouTube video on what to ask, especially in this wedding contact form. Um, but basically you'll set up the form that they're filling out here. This is inside HoneyBook. Um, ask them all the questions you wanna ask them, hit publish. I have this embedded to my Show It website, which I have another video again about that. But um, that's how you'll set that up. Once you have this set up, you will go into template, sorry, tools, workflows. You're gonna go down and you'll see here, I have a 2021 wedding inquiry auto reply and a 2021 portrait inquiry auto send brochure. So let's look at the wedding one first. So it's a very simple thing. It's a one step workflow guys. Once they book, that's a whole other thing. You need to give them a different workflow, but this is just to automatically respond. So simple, change my life. Um, so you're gonna hit edit and this is what it looked like if you were setting up this workflow. So the action is to send an email. Um, you're going to send the email with this message. So this is gonna come from your email templates that you, I'll show you in one second if you want me to. Um, and then zero days after activating, activating workflow, it's gonna send automatically. So this workflow thing is saying, okay, when I get an inquiry, I want to send this email. And the, re the way you are telling this that you, it's when you get an inquiry. So if you go back here, 2021 wedding inquiry auto response. And you see how it says wedding right here? So automate via contact form wedding. So if I go back to my contact form templates, and this is, if you don't have this, it will not work. So wedding inquiry, um, when they fill out this form, I have it over here set up settings. 
that when this form is filled out, this project is being assigned a wedding project type. So this is telling HoneyBook, anyone who's filling out this form, it's a wedding. And then over here in the workflows, you're saying, anyone who's a wedding, I need to respond with this. So even though technically when you, once you book a wedding, they're on a different workflow, I'm just using this. This is the only time I actually use this automate via contact form feature. Um, and it's the same for portraits. So I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, so for this wedding inquiry auto reply, so you saw I'm saying here, send email 2021 wedding inquiry is the name of the message. So if I go into my templates again and I go into my emails, um, and I'm going to find that email, 2021 wedding inquiry. So this is the email that I'm automatically sending to anyone that responds. I mean, that fills out the contact form. So it says, congrats on getting engaged, all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. What I'm doing is asking them to schedule a consultation call. And when they click this link, this is going to go into the, um, the calendar system within HoneyBook. And I can make a more in-depth video about that. But, and then I say, if none of these times work for you, let me know which times, two times work for you. So that is if you want to do it this way. If you want to tweak it and do it like the portrait session, let me show you that. So tools, workflows, 2021 portrait inquiry. So this is if they're filling out that other contact form on my website, edit, same thing, but I'm sending a brochure that is 2021 portrait collections and examples. Um, and it's going to, it's going to send this email with the brochure attached and what that looks like is this. So 2021 portrait and examples. So I'm going into templates again, emails again, portrait attached. This is the email that's going out with the brochure, right? So it says, hi, blah, blah, blah. Um, go ahead, select which pricing you want to select. So my portrait sessions, I'm again, I'm not asking for a consultation call. I'm just saying, here's my prices. Here's how it works. Here are a bunch of samples. This is the email that I'm using. And then also you're going to use the templates um, brochures here. And I'm going to go into, oops, sorry, brochures, 2021 portrait collections and examples. And this will be the brochure that is attached. So it'll just have different collections here. And then also all the samples here because this used to take me forever to write the email. So I write, I just include all the samples, things you can add on, albums, travel, literally everything you could possibly ask um, so that these, these people have all this information that they need um, if they want to move forward or not. And I didn't do anything. It was just automatically sent all this information. And then so while you were sleeping, somebody decided whether they're booking one of these or they're not. So it's super, super simple. Um, and then also I sometimes wake up in the morning, check my email because it's not on my phone or my laptop and someone scheduled a consultation call and I don't have to do any work. I just have to take my consultation call. And if they didn't, they're probably not interested in that much. So I hope that makes sense. All right, guys, leave a comment down below if you are using HoneyBook for your business. And if you're not, um, I have a 50% off discount code that you can get in the description. Um, also, I have other videos here on YouTube, like um, how to determine your prices as a photographer, how to have a consultation call, and what to do with your pricing, all those things. So I will see you later this week here on YouTube.